Hi, my name is Phoebe, and I'm going to walk you through using the styling tools. So the styling tools are really great tools. They allow you to kind of like sketch and drape within the Clo 3D window. And we're going to go through all of the different tools within that style line um, section today. So let's jump right on in and have some fun while learning. Okay, so here we have our clothes screen open and we've got our garment all set up. This was just like a basic t-shirt. And here I'm just going to hide my library. So to do that, I'm just going to click on this little arrow here to hide it. I'm now going to use these tools over here, which are these styling tools. The first tool I'm going to use is this move styling tool. What this is going to do is it's going to move my um, style lines down to the side anyway. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to click on my garment. You'll then see that this changes and it starts to look kind of like a schematic render, basically a sketch. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to hover over the line I'd wish to move and I'm going to just click hold down. And you'll see that then all of a sudden it will move. I like to simulate after every move. And what's nice is when you do have your simulation on, you can just click on your garment and start to just drag and move this down. And then when you turn off simulation, it switches right back to the tool. So again, I'm gonna just drag this down a little bit more. Now, the only thing I want to bring to your all of yours attention is there is a purple number right down here. Look, see, okay. So this number is telling you exactly what's being changed. It's telling you the how much you're lengthening it from here all the way down. So you can see exactly how much you're moving it, which is really helpful because if you only want to move it like an inch or two inches, you can see that here. These black measurements here are telling you how much the new length is now. So that's just fun facts to know. Always sharing some fun facts. So I'm just going to drop this down here. I'm just going to move this down. Okay. Now we've got our move tool. I think I'm going to just move my sleeve too. So I want to lengthen my sleeve a bit. You can see that sometimes you can only lengthen it a little. Um, that's just because of where it's at at that moment. But um, you'll see that the wider it gets, then the easier it is to lengthen it, then the more you can lengthen it at once. OK. So now let's go to our scale style line tool which is right above the move style line tool. The scale style line tool is going to um, like scale the style line. Basically, it's gonna make it wider or shorter. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make my hem a little bit wider. This is when seeing the measurements at the same time is really helpful because before you know it, you can make it really wide. Um, and you really don't need to make it that wide. Um, I mean, you can if you want, but I didn't. So I'm going to do like 1.7 and then simulate. Nice. So what's nice about all these tools, so the move and style line tool does this. You can hover over certain sections of the um, line like so, and you'll see arrows. See an arrow. Wait, you don't see it. No, yes, you see an arrow now. You can click and hold down. And now what you can do is you can make this larger, but just the side seam. So just the side seam is going to become longer and like wider instead of the center front and side seam. So this is deciding exactly where you're adding the width to. Again, if you go to the longer line, it'll become longer. If you go to the shorter line, it will go shorter. Same with that move tool. The bigger arrow is going to make it bigger, longer. The shorter arrow is going to make it shorter. So I'm just going to add like, um, 
we'll say one, one inch, 1.4. Now I can simulate and everything. What I can also do is I can use that arrow again. And maybe what I want to do is make sure that my center front is actually straight um, and perpendicular to what the top is. So I can do that here and just look on my pattern. And I can just rotate and do the same to the back. Nice. Okay. Now, okay. These tools are meant to push limits, right? Like try anything. Why not? Um, so like, don't forget that you could also play around with your neck opening too. So what I could do is I could click here and I could scale out my neck opening so that it becomes larger and everything. I can also like select certain parts. So maybe I just wanted it to become larger at the opening, or maybe I wanted the opening to be straight. And I wanted this to become larger, you know, or maybe not. You can try any of this. It's really nice. Like you can scale any part of your garment as long as there is a pattern edge to it. Another really helpful tool is the edit style line tool. What this is going to do, especially for this neck opening, is you're going to be able to select points and adjust them. So I can click on this point and drop it down a little bit. Um, maybe I want to select this and bring this in, um, actually out a little bit. And maybe I actually wanted this to come in a little bit more. And I can even click on a line and adjust the line's curve by changing it into a curvature line so that we have bezier handles, like so. So this is actually pretty good. Right. I think the last thing I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna scale my thing so that this goes down. Cause I'm gonna do like a handkerchief kind of stuff, you know? One of those really fun things. All right. So now we've got our garment. It's looking great. The last tool we're going to go through is the draw style line tool. This is really cool. It allows you to create all new style lines within your 3D window. Here's a tip. It's really nice because what you can do is you can turn on translucent surface in your fabric view. And then you can see exactly where you're going to um, cut it compared to your avatar. So like if you wanted a crop top because we're with the times, we know what people like, you know. Um, I feel like that means I don't. Um, you can see exactly where you want to cut it so that it's the crop you want. Or maybe you don't want a crop top because you're over that. And you're just like, no, we're doing normal tops, that's fine. So what you can just do is you can click and you can hold down control if you want and you can create these really nice curves and go all the way straight to the line. Or you can just release control. You don't have to hold down control at all and you can create a straight line, right? So here I'm just going to go through and I'm going to make a waistband. And what's nice is you can see like really how close you can get to accurate. Um, like to this being the same way throughout and everything. Can't forget the armhole. And last but not least, the neck. So I'm definitely going to have to hold down control for this because I want a nice smooth curve. Okay, and then the back. And what's really nice is because everything is symmetrical, I've only had to do half of this. So that is a win of itself. 
All right, now everything's all set. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to monochrome view. I'm gonna go to select and simulate. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna edit some sewing. So I don't want this sewing relationship. I'm gonna hit delete. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my um, st uh, scale style line tool. And I'm gonna adjust this waistband so that it fits onto her waist like so. Great. I continue to use maybe my edit um, style line tool to adjust the lines. This looks good. This actually looks great. Now what I can do is maybe I want to move this. Maybe I want this to actually be wider so I can move this up so that this is actually wider. Maybe not that line. Great. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go to this and delete this sewing relationship so that I can adjust this without having to adjust the sleeve. And again, you can look at your pattern simultaneously to make sure that it's adjusting how you like it and to make sure that they're both adjusting equally, right? And now I can go back to my sewing and this can be sewed. Maybe I just need to make sure that this is straight, okay. And now I've got my skirt and everything. So now we've got a whole new garment and everything. We've got a shirt and skirt in a matter of seconds. I can continue to play around with this or I can just start adding fabrics if I want. So here I can go in. Maybe I want to open up some fabrics. Dun, dun, dun. There you go. I can open this up. Let's say I want my cable knit. I'm going to add a few. And you can just bring this stuff in and apply it. And now you've got a whole new garment in a matter of seconds. You can just render it out like so. And then you're all set. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the style lines and how you can adjust and play around with them all while in the 3D window. If you have any questions, please feel free to write in the comments. Please like and subscribe um, this channel. We have so many great videos for you to watch and learn from. Thanks so much again for watching. I hope you enjoyed.